Unrest on college campuses. In the aftermath of the Hamas attacks on Israel, American universities have been thrust into a national fight over lines between healthy debate and destructive invective. We've had major donors condemn administrations for tolerating cultures where some students no longer feel safe. The underlying culture that permitted this to happen is just so strong. And until there is a moment of self-reflection where we're not dealing with just anti-Semitism, we're dealing with the culture that allowed this to happen, there really is going to be no progress. And to date, there's been no progress. This is really not a question of free speech. This is a question of favored speech and disfavored speech and a, an institutional psychology and an institutional culture. We've had college presidents called before Congress and asked to condemn calls for genocide. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. And we've had former college presidents insist that there's been a basic breakdown in who's responsible for what's going on in our academic communities. I think for some years now, they have been substantially AWOL, AWOL as the climate of hypersensitivity has developed AWOL as the relationship between the university and external communities has uh, broken down. Leaving us to yearn for a world where we can disagree, even strongly disagree, without deterring others from speaking out. I suspect something will happen, but I don't know that Congress will do anything. I think the university boards are probably going to be more sensitive to these issues. There is going to be more security for certain students there, for sure. But I think there'll be more of a move towards a University of Chicago approach where more people are allowed to say what they think without feeling that if they say something that's unpopular, they'll be criticized or harmed physically. 